Former IEBC Human Resources Manager Celestine Kiuluku, who doubled up as the chairperson of the Commission's Tender Committee, was today put to task to explain irregularities in tender process at the Commission. Although admitting that the Commission did not follow the law in procuring election materials in 2017, Kiuluku, however, distanced herself from the irregularity, saying she was not consulted when the decision was made and only learned about it when EACC detectives came to our office seeking information. Let's get more from our very own Chim Tai Goin. It was the 10th sitting of the IEBC selection panel as its sessions entered the penultimate week. You are also uh, an expert in HR. Celestine Kiuluku, a former commissioner at the Salaries and Remuneration Commission and who also served at the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission as HR Director and Chair of the Tender Committee, revealed that unnamed individuals in the commission defied procurement laws when they procured electoral materials that were used in the 2017 elections. I'm asking you, there is no procurement can be done in any organization whatsoever without it coming to the Tender Committee, including your ballot paper, including your technology where you use suffer morpho and you went to debate this are you telling this panel that this was bypassed it was not done according to the procurement act it did not come through the tender committee where which i was sharing that time so you are telling this panel and kenyans as a whole that what was done was totally illegal i'm not saying it was illegal in terms of where it was procured, but you are aware that in IMBC we have cases in court. And those cases, they are already in court and I don't want to discuss no. them. Are you saying that any organization can go or anybody can go on procurement using the public funds without following the regulation? It happened, sir. When problem supremacy was pitting IEBC chairman Wafula Chebukati against former CEO Ezra Chiloba, Kiuluku revealed that as HR manager, she and others attempted to mediate several times to broker truce. Kiuluku would also pose suggestions of a negotiated exit for commissioners from office, saying the commission should be allowed to operate without intimidation. But when Dr. Salim Demo, who once unsuccessfully contested the Kisi gubernatorial race in 2013, took his place at the hot seat, he was questioned of over his academic credentials. You then received your Doctor of Philosophy in Business Administration. So I'm curious to know how you managed to get yours in six months. They had a very flexible uh, timetable mm. uh, in the sense that uh, it was even possible to almost do it uh, simultaneously. We found that this university is uh, unaccredited and um, and is registered in the British Virgin Islands. I don't know if you are aware of that. Degrees are notarized, uh, which means uh, the government is aware of its activities, mm. uh, even if they did not comment about the contents of that. And uh, the reason they said uh, was that uh, uh, they, they did not want to do the convection away. They had not applied for accreditation at that time. I don't know whether they have done. Retired Colonel Said Hamiz, who faced the panel first, allayed fears over the hiring of military officers in government institutions, saying their background and training made them effective workers. Yes, the notion is the military guys are hard to deal with and they've got a set mind. We need to do things in a, a precision way. We need to have discipline because majority of uh, organizations, uh, they, lack, they lack a lot of discipline and that's how they, uh, they go down. Asked on whether it was prudent to hold the general election amid the COVID-19 pandemic, Hamid supports talks of postponing the polls, saying with proper planning the exercise can still proceed. I hope it's okay if I, I call you mom. <laughs> I hope you don't call me dad. <laughs> the selection panelists are to finalize the interviews this Friday. Chamutai Goen, Citizen TV.